full fat ricotta from the grocery store. Come on with a little bit of heavy cream and some lemon zest. Okay. Adds lots of flavor. You can put in a pinch of salt too. You just whip it up. Let that sucker go. Yeah, let that go for about five minutes. It gets really light, fluffy, creamy, so good. I like to do a little bit of olive oil on top. Frizzle on top. Yeah, and then serve it with crostini or veggies, whatever you like. Okay, that's easy. So, so easy, right? I mean, you picked up ricotta and a lemon and there you go. some some. Snacks. <laughs> it's so simple. All right. So then over here, I've got some chipotle shrimp skewers. Okay. Um, and this is also easy. I'm using chipotles in adobo sauce. It's a really great ingredient because you get the chilies and you also get this amazing sauce. It's like an incredible marinade. Okay. I'm putting that on some shrimp. I'm using extra large shrimp. You want to get them peeled, deveined, nice and easy. Right. A little bit of lime juice, a little bit, you know, salt again. Mix them up and just... Like 10 minutes, you know, shrimpy. Yeah, really like, a little bit. Exactly. Didn't have to be an overnight situation. Exactly. Shrimpy just want to do really nice and easy. Got some like. skewers. Soak them in water. So that'll keep them from burning. Why do you soak them in water? You, it keeps them from burning. So it kind of soaks the water in. So then when you grill them or you put them under the broiler. You don't come out. Yeah, totally. And then I like to do about three on okay. a uh, skewer. You can do these under the broiler, on the grill. Serve it a little lime, awesome. some guacamole, yeah. sour cream, all the good easy, stuff. Easy, so easy, easy. easy, yeah. So then over here, this is like a twist on pigs in a blanket. Yeah. Always super popular at parties. Still a little Spanish twist. I'm using chorizo, which is spicy Spanish oh. sausage. So good. You want the uh, the Spanish one, not the fresh Mexican kind. Okay. And then we're just doing puff pastry. We buy at the grocery store. Cut into little rectangles and roll it up. Roll them? Yeah. These go into the oven about 20, 25 minutes until they're puffed up and golden like this. How spicy? The chorizo. Um, this one's spicy, but you can get whatever kind you like. So I like I like the heat. Do you like heat? I do. There I think once you eat this pig in a blanket, it's hard to go back to the regular exactly. one. Exactly. Well, and then this is what I'm gonna add to. I'm doing a little bit of corn syrup right on top. Okay. It's a little glaze. Wow, look at what they popped up. That yeah. puff pastry puff's delicious. Salty, sweet, spicy, so All good. right, I'll try one of these. Yeah, I'm oh, ready. What's next? All right. So this is for your brunch on uh, New Year's Day. We've got cinnamon rolls. It's a monkey bread, fruity monkey bread. Oh yeah. We're using cinnamon rolls, um, which you just buy in the store. Chop them all up. We're adding fresh berries to this and oh, some melted butter. Right. You want to give that a big toss. And then that goes into a prepared uh, buck pan or two pan. You can even just use a big baking dish. So you think this is the end result of this just these three ingredients? Result. Yeah, amazing, right? Awesome. And then this is the icing that just comes with the cinnamon rolls. Okay. So easy. Wow. Sausage. I'm doing two sausages. Love it. So this one's uh, just regular breakfast sausages. Mm -hmm. We're doing cranberry juice, which you probably already have from your party last night. It's not a combination. I would never no, have thought of that. It's going to work. And then some maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Get that in there. Let it boil. Let it cook down. Okay. Glazed delicious nice sausages. Love it. Yeah, and then finally our eggs. So saving you big time by uh, instead of chopping up a this is potato, like a fancy omelet? we're using potato chips. Love it. Set of potatoes. Just saute some onions. Add your potato chips. Mix them up with your eggs. And then egg, onion, potato. The three yeah, ingredients. Yeah, seriously. For that. And then you get this gorgeous spinach. That looks style. Yeah, awesome, huh? Well, like I said in the beginning of this, people like our house has been inundated. We've been cooking, preparing for every single meal for New Year's. These are some great, really, really easy ideas. Alejandra, thank you thank so much. You. Of course, you can find the recipes at today.com slash food. And now that we know what we're going to eat on New Year's, the question is, what are you going to wear up next?